say 2.5, we should only hope 26 million, 2.5 million jobs. But is that target even possible? Some experts are saying the economy is uh, going to still get worse. Joining us now is founder and manager of Tilson Mutual Fund, Whitney Tilson, and co-host of Happy Hour on Fox Business Network, Rebecca Diamond. Welcome back Thank uh, to you. our show. But Whitney, you, how bad Thank are things going to get? You think things are going... Well, we have to Way differentiate down. between the economy and the stock market right. um, because the stock market's forward-looking, and I actually think it's probably somewhere near the bottom. So, so I'm not I'm up. not urging people to run and sell their stocks and go to cash under the mattress. Um, we're actually finding incredible bargains out You're there. You're talking about but the, the economy. economy yeah. The economy, I think, is the stock market is pricing in a severe recession, and that's what we're going to get. I'm afraid, and it's going to last a while, and there isn't going to be any quick turnaround. Right, so, what happens with the economy? Well, I think what's driving it is the mortgage market and home prices, and we think home prices are maybe a little more than halfway done declining, so we're not quite near a bottom yet, and the delinquencies and foreclosures, uh, we're still going to see a few million foreclosures over the next four years. So a lot years. more people are going to lose their homes, it's going to get a lot worse, and we're only halfway down the uh, ladder? We're about halfway down in home prices. Um, the actual yeah. foreclosures, we've had fewer than two million, and uh, Credit Suisse the other day just predicted another six million foreclosures over the next four Rebecca, years. Rebecca, you go along with this? Do you and, agree that and these bad are, as these? Yeah, no, these are, and these are foreclosures not in, yeah. in the subprime market, which right. has been the problem, you know, for the past year. Uh, these now are in these fancy mortgages that they created to make homes affordable for everyone, yeah. and we're also talking about prime mortgages, too, and the thing that really concerns me is that at nearly every day on my show on happy hour um, they're reporting about job losses after job losses no longer just in, on Wall Street no longer just in the housing market construction and realtors and so forth but it, nearly every industry is affected and laying him, though, off the prices people. are going to only halfway down the ladder in terms of how far down the pricing of homes are going to go yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I think we still have a lot more uh, right, pain to feel in both declining home values, foreclosures. We're, we're basically, I've had Whitney on my show as well, and yeah. we're basically on the same page that this economy may, you know, depression, I know you hate that word, but a gr at least a uh, great recession. What am I supposed recession. to love that word? I mean. <laughs> yeah, well, you don't buy but, any of it. Yeah, well, I don't buy, I, listen, I, 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 I want to get your thoughts on this. Let me bring Whitney in, and then I'm going to get back to our argument from the other day. <laughs> I watched you on 60 Minutes Sunday night, and I found your, what you said was very credible here, and you did something pretty amazing. You actually looked at the numbers, and you predicted with pinpoint accuracy the rate that, that the subprime crisis. And now as you look at, at these new mortgages, mortgages that have been given out, you're saying that we have another subprime crisis coming in the next couple of years, which is, the, I would argue, the foundation of where we are economically. True right. or false? Well, let me differentiate. These aren't new mortgages. It's a new type of mortgage that mm. haven't been defaulting at catastrophic rates yet, but that's simply because they don't reset to higher monthly payments for three to five years, whereas the subprime mortgages, all of these mortgages were written mainly beginning of 05 through the middle of 07. Um, the subprimes had two-year teaser rates, so they all started to reset. The, the loans written in 05 started to reset in 07, and there's been a huge wave of subprime mortgages resetting that's caused the first wave. But What's happening now is Alte and Option R mortgages, right. written back then, have three- or five-year resets, and that's the n second wave we see ahead of us. And you can just look at the default rates, and you can, and you see, can see it see following. The you can see it following the Pit same trends as subprime yeah. was, just with the time lag, because the reset dates are different. All right, now, Rebecca, what you and I might disagree, because I think we agree with Whitney on this thing, but we're, right. you see, what frustrates me is that when you go back to these congressional hearings in 2004, Barney Frank, everything's fine. You know, Chris Dodd, everything's fine. Uh, Maxine Waters, everything's fine. Republicans were saying, look at the books. The audit showed that this was all coming. In other words, that Democrats forced this because they want redistribution of the wealth. They wanted everybody to ha own a house. And now they ignored the audits, and then we have the subprime crisis. We're on the hook for it, and they won't take the blame, and they're instituting the same policies. Well, you can also look at the fact that there was no regulation, no one on Wall Street, uh, you know, basically saying, "Hey, let's let's cr get creative, and let's uh, let anybody who basically has a pulse get a loan a and get a mortgage." But, but there was no one saying, "What about lending standards? What about 20 percent right, down?" We're running out of time. None but wait of that. They did regulate. They forced banks to lower. The their standards and issue risky loans by law. But they also did not regulate when they were repackaging all these creative loans and letting anyone borrow, not just low income mm -hmm. and minorities, but basically anyone with no payment down, no right. doc loans. I mean, this is just ridiculous. Right, these lending standards were non-existent. We'll have you back soon. Thanks for being with us. Thanks. The best Christmas gift ever.